Hey, Warren, uh, we come away from Weymouth with 10 men empty-handed. That felt like a real sucker punch at the end. Just said to the players, and uh, it was a big big punch in the gob for us. Um, but we've got to recover. Look, uh, I thought today, you know, we had the best chance the first half, Carreo. Shows a bit more composure, we'll go in. Absolute ridiculous decision by the referee. Um, and I'm not, look, I'm not blaming, but these are big decisions. Um, the same happened in the first half of one of, the, of our players. But I can't fault, fault the, the effort of my boys, you know. The goals we give away were poor decision making. And I said to them, they've got to learn, some of them. They're not young boys now, they're men's football. Um, but as I said, you've got to take that in the chin today because they worked their socks off against all odds, against against a lot. Um, you know, and, and they asked a certain official about the red card and he just turned around and he goes, oh, well, you get some right, you get some wrong. If that's the attitude, you know, what, what, what can you do? And that's the, one of the biggest disappointments. But as I said to you, the player's attitude, the player's desire, can't fault them. We went for the game. We went to win the game at 10 men still. And I uh, just got done by a sucker punch at the end. You look at those red cards throughout the season, I think that's the 11th um, sending off this season. Some have but, been right, some have been wrong. It's but... a ridiculous red card. It's not a red card. It'll be sending players off. As I said, the exact same happened if you do your homework on, on our player. Um, you'll be sending players off every week. Amar hasn't seen the boy. The boy's coming from the side. If that's a red card in football, then, as I said, you might as well give up. But... Uh, Look, you can talk about discipline that there, yes, but it's, it's, it's a terrible decision from the referee. Um, but look, I, I'm not, I, I have to talk about my boys today because, as I said, that we'll come to win the game. I thought the fans were outstanding. I feel for them and I mean that. They're down. They got behind them. They clapped the boys off at the end, so it shows you something. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gutted for the boys today and, and everyone because that was, uh, we were well in the game and uh, we proper took the game to them. I mean, we hit the post twice during that. Ballarabe coming close straight away in the second half. Obviously, Dunn hitting the post, getting the goal through Addy. Addy coming off the bench, though. That, um, it must be a real confidence boost for him because he's been missing over the last couple of weeks with a, couple of, with a little bit of injury. Nice for him to get a goal despite what the result was. No, definitely. It's all that you want your striker scoring. Um, they're pleased. But, uh, yeah, listen, we went for it. As I said, you can see what we tried to do. Um, we went to win the game. And, uh, you know, it's pleasing to get him back. I had, he's had a little niggle here and there. But the good thing is we've got him fit now. We've got... Uh, you know, nothing's changed where we were. We're six points above it. We're still six points above it, but it's just, you know, gotten for everyone that we've uh, we've took that in the chin today. But we've got to pick ourselves up and get going again. Harsh on Kai as well. He made another, not for the first time this season, a uh, fantastic penalty save, which looked like it was going to, you know, go a long way to earning us what would have been a deserved point. So, again, something else that make, kind of makes it feel worse. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the, he's done fantastic. So he has, Kai. Um, Pulled a great save off. I thought his hand on him was very good. Obviously, we're going to miss him now. He's away the international duty. But, you know, he, he, he means we've got two very good keepers here, is what I said to you. And uh, But, you know, collectively as a team, we're just, just gutted today. Last year, again, on, on the injury front, obviously, Miles Roberts being one of those who, who's missing today. Uh, a few others as well on the on the injury table. Taylor Maloney, uh, Rob Howard, uh, Medi Alito. Um, you can, I mean, I know there's plenty more, but um, how are we looking? Obviously, the games are, 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 are coming thick and fast. Again, I hate that phrase, but but it's true. We, we go again on Tuesday, but uh, how are we looking? Yeah, well, look, we've got to dust them down and, and try and get them comfortable. It's, um, you know what I mean? We've got injuries. Injury, you know, when you're in the Friday and two players get injured. Um, you know, so as I said, you've just got to take it in the chin, like like today's defeat, and now uh, move on. It's a goalkeeper situation, one we have to, to look at if 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 Kai's going yeah, away. We, in we are, we're trying to get one in, to be honest. Um, Miles is Miles is um got a niggle. We we'll have to look up, but we are trying to trying to round the block to get one in. What can you say to the lads after a game like that? When I mean, it, there's been plenty of games where we have deserved to to go home with nothing, and and there has been some anger and, and disappointment. But for that one, it's just. You know, how do you pick them up from the floor? Because um, they, they look real gutted at the end. They're coming oh, yeah, up. we are. We are. As I said, it was a punch in the big, but we've got to get ourselves ready. We've got to get ourselves going again. Um, look, we're still in a position. It's in our hands. You know, you can see the way some people celebrate. Um, you know, and, and the fans there, whenever they, they didn't like it. And obviously, they give me a little bit, their fans. And they, you know, come the end there. Um, but, you know, it's still in our hands. We've just got to get the boys take the positives from today, which, you know, they worked really hard. They were against a lot today. Um, you know, and as I said, I don't want to go into it. it was, even the penalty we're looking at, was he, he clearly took the ball. You can see it. But, uh, 
you know, we've just got to dust them down, pack ourselves up and go again. And uh, just finally, a word for the fans. Another good following here today. They did all they could uh, in terms of lending their voice and no trains up here today. So that, that really, you know, showed their dedication. Look, you've seen the, the fans clap the voice after, after the game. Um, which I can tell you that the boys, they were, they, they were pleased. The boys give effort, the boys give desire. It's just the fine margins of the mistakes we made. You know, a simple five-yard pass for the first goal instead of trying to play a killer ball. You know, as I said, it's not young boys, it's men's football you're in there. Not running, one hasn't control of the ball and someone's trying to run past them. You know what I mean? It's not, um, it's not the way it is. They've got, to, they've got to learn This is and manage the game. And that's the disappointing thing.